Alright, how's it going guys? We are back. And we need purified water for like everything we want to do. If you look at our to-do list, we have change over coke production. These two don't need it, but we're actually going to use part of it for the nickel one. And flotation cells needs it, slag production or slag processing I think it does as well um, and I'm looking at purifying water here so we put 150 water in we're gonna get 20 saline water and 100 purified water uh, we can do oxygen and hydrogen but we need our oxygen for smelting so that's not really an option um, we can do sulfuric wastewater which will give us some, but the sulfuric wastewater takes 50 in its processing. This is the slag stuff that we're going to be doing. We need it here for our flotation, which is going to give us some of that sulfuric. So we're going to be able to re uh, recycle a lot of it, but for making it, we're pretty much stuck with either this which we are going to do a bit of this to use up our hydrogen and our carbon dioxide which is coming from our limestone and then uh, we can also feed it with some coal this carbon our uh, the carbon monoxide we're getting is going to be used for our nickel production and I've got all the stuff made so we can start smelting nickel and bronze. But for right now, we're going to set up a couple hydro plants right down here. And we're going to make a... Um, offshore pump. And we'll throw that over here. And go ahead and make a couple of these lighted poles so we can see what the hell we're doing down here. And we're going to have to make a few more underground pipes. I really need to get to the stone automation stuff, but there's so many things I see that need this purified water. I figured I might as well get started on this. I'm just going to run that up like that. And this is going to be water purification. Same with that one. And let's get our regular electric poles. And we'll run those down here. And I thought I made some... Those aren't lidded ones, are they? No. I thought I made a couple of them. Oh, I made the regular ones. Dumbass. I already have the regular ones. Alright, so there we go. That's going to make us purified water. And we're going to put in a tank to hold it. Uh, where the hell? There they are. This way, hopefully, I can figure out a decent way to automate these to turn on only when we need them on. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to connect those like that. 
and this one to there and then that'll fill into there and then we need to get rid of the saline which will run it up like this and then we'll connect the two of them together and then uh, probably over here will be a decent place to put it we're gonna have this one turn it into brown algae just like we are up here but this is going to be specifically for this. So that'll run into there. And then we need to connect our power up to that. And I'm guessing that that's not going to be anywhere near fast enough. So we'll probably have to make a few of these. And then we're going to run this up. And into here. With the rest of them for us to use at a later date when we actually have a use for it. Alright, so we're going to have to set up a few of these apparently. And I probably can... Uh, let me work this out and I'll be right back. Alright, so I set up two more of them. And it still doesn't look like it's completely taking care of the problem, but it's doing a lot better. And we're now full on purified water, so we can't really test it much more. Also, it's time to do some more research. I just got done doing the physical projectile damage 2 and weapon shooting 2. So now we're going to work on the advanced material processing and we need that to get to some of our other things that we had discussed. So we're going to work on that now. And so that'll be decent for our purified water, I guess. Um, we're probably going to have to make this a lot bigger. I'm guessing we'll soon be putting in two more of these down here and three more of these over on this side. Probably going to fill up this entire peninsula with purified water stuff. But... Now that we have the purified water, we can work on some other stuff. One of which that I want to do first is our coke production, which we need to run crushed coal and purified water to make coke and sulfuric wastewater. The sulfuric wastewater is going to go into another one of these hydro plants and it's going to make sulfur mineralized water and give us back some of our purified water. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up. So we're going to need a liquefier for this. Yeah, liquefier is going to be the same as an advanced chemical plant one. For speed, and chemical plant one is going to be slower, so we'll use the liquefier for that. 
we're gonna have to see how much uh well let's look here so doing it in here which is the way we have been doing it we get one tick one second whatever that one stands for is going to be two to two where this is going to be the same amount and it takes 2.6 so by that for every one of these which these are actually stone filtered furnaces are they any different in the amount of time uh, no, they're exactly the same. Okay. So for every one of these that we have, we're going to need three of the liquefiers to keep up with the current amount that we have. And the only real reason to even do this right now is there a reason to do this right now since it's not going to give us any extra of anything we're going to need it eventually for explosives we can turn it into sulfur dioxide but we've got more than that we know what to do with and eventually we'll need it for that so uh, unless the sulfuric, the mineralized water, we can use to make green algae with carbon dioxide, which that'll make cellulose fiber, we can make into all kinds of different things. Mainly right now we could use it for this if we had wood processing three which we don't so we can make it into methanol formaldehyde which could be used for plastic so not really a reason to need it for that um, I still hate when these show up like this which something is uh, apparently not working there and yeah so we don't really need to set up the coke changeover the only thing that the only thing that would help is we wouldn't be burning carbon directly we would be using electricity to power it would be the only real advantage to setting it up so then all of our carving could go to other things like the um, circuits and being able to power our uh, boilers over here but I think for right now I'm gonna leave it the way it is until we get to the point which we're getting close where we have to add another one of these and then we might need a little bit more carbon coming in but I think actually I'm gonna leave it like that and we're just gonna hold off on that for the moment all right so we got that finished um i want to work on i need to get these done let's get that i'm not really good at these circuits but i need to get them done so i can try to use them i also want to get the uh lithium processing because we're going to use the brown algae we have for that we need to get sulfur processing done so we can get to our batteries once we get to the batteries 
Um, that's going to make those batteries, but I need to get to this one. The electric energy accumulators. And then I can start making some solar panels. And we can get away from using all of our coal for fuel and that will help with some pollution. So I think now that we've got the purified water set up, I'm going to go ahead and next time we're going to set up nickel and bronze so we can get our uh, bullets done. We're spreading out our pollution and we're definitely going to be needing those armor piercing bullets which we're going to be using this recipe which is going to need nickel plates and bronze plates and we're going to do the changeover for uh, flotation and making a lot of these things bigger soon but I want to get the bullets done first so I'll see you guys in the next one and we'll be setting up to cook our nickel and make bronze so we can make piercing bullets. See you guys next time.